What's up, YouTube? It's time for another tasting video. And this is one, I don't know if we'll do them all. I'm definitely doing the two that I've bought. But, you know, the Lay's do us a flavor, taste a flavor, create a flavor. Nonsense, bullshit. I don't know where the fuck they find some of these flavors. Um, usually aren't that exciting. Like what last year was Bacon Mac. I think 8,000 chips have made a Bacon Mac and Cheese flavored chip. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. You know, it's just me personally. I just think a lot of the, the flavors they've came up with is absolute bullshit. Um, but this year we have a couple flavors that sound interesting. And the one I'm doing today is Southern Biscuits and Gravy. Now being from Virginia, I personally love biscuits and gravy. And there's good biscuits and gravies and bad biscuits and gravies. And I've had both. Bad biscuits and gravy makes you want to puke. Good biscuits and gravy is heaven in your mouth. It's like an orgasm in your mouth. It's all that cream and sausage and bit and a good biscuit, a good biscuit. I can sometimes go with a bad biscuit and good gravy, but if it's bad gravy and a good biscuit, you're kind of fucked. So, this is the Southern Biscuits and Gravy. The other flavors are that I did not buy is the Greek Town Gyro and the New York Reuben. Now, my personal opinion, I don't know how much those two are actually going to vary in flavor because they're artificially going to be... Okay, this is what's going to happen. They're going to be artificially meat flavored with a sauce, which is artificially flavored, kind of powdering, and then a bread. I almost have to buy them to try them, but realistically, I can't see the flavor being that big of a difference. Uh, but the two I did get was the biscuits and gravies and the uh, West Coast truffle fries. You know what? I don't even know why I bought the West Coast truffle fries. They're probably gonna taste like French. They're probably gonna taste like everything else I've ever had in my life. But the biscuits and gravy is the one that interested me. So let's see. Uh, the person that created this is Haley from Indianapolis. My grandpa and grandma from Tennessee, Slee and nanny walking. I was a walking cookbook for all the southern samples. My absolute favorite dish she makes her is her homemade biscuits and gravy. Okay. There you go. This is what you're looking for. Light blue bag. Biscuits and curry, biscuits and curry. Oh, by the way, truffle fries are wavy chips, but I have a, I'll do a video on those later. Anyway, let's open this bad boy up. Do we get this is gravy on the nose? Kinda. I hate to say, you know what it smells like? Unfortunately, if the... So I kinda get the biscuits and gravy, I kinda get the gravy. I kind of, I kind of get the gravy. I kind of get the, uh, and after I taste it, I'll tell you what I get on this. It, instantly, I got the the Jimmy Dean, the cheap stuff that you buy from the grocery store that's frozen. Not even a good... It's decent. It's not horrible. It's edible. I will leave it at that. But, you know, that's what I kind of know. This is instantly what it smells like. It smells instantly like that. Not even Hardy's. Because Hardy's makes really good biscuits and gravy, by the way. In case you did not know, Hardy sells biscuits and gravy. Hardy sells really good biscuits and gravy. The biscuits are amazing. And... The gravy is actually the sausage gravy is pretty good too. So let's see what this shit tastes like. No. And it tastes exactly like it smells. That overly peppery Jimmy Dean or other brands of so frozen sausage biscuits and gravy. It's really peppery. It's not that good. I don't like it. I gotta eat it, and I I know where they're heading, but it's not it's not well balanced at all. It's a lot of pepper. Mm -hmm. The seasonings made of meloxygen from corn, skim milk, salt. Buttermilk, cream, spice, paprika, natural flavor, sugar, onion, powdered, sour cream, 
sour creams, cream, mixtures, skim milk, and cultures. Yeast extraction, gum. Yeah. This was the one that actually made me think that it, this is the one that's worth trying because it's different than the other ones. It's not. I'm not expecting a potato chip or a flavored potato chip that I've had before. I'm expecting something different, which I got. What? Right, let me see. And just like biscuit gravy, you don't get biscuit. You really get the gravy. And now. Overly peppery, the overly overly spiced up, way too spiced up. The cream is weak. You get cream, and I get the pep, uh, the spices. I don't know where they plan to get the sausage from, though. Oh, what are we just going the gravy? We weren't doing the sausage gravy. We're just doing biscuits and gravy, even though the picture shows sausage chunks in the gravy. I say, try it yourself. Not suiting my 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 need for biscuit and gravy. My grandfather wants biscuit and gravy. Let's go get some biscuits and gravy. Mm. I can eat this. I can eat this, but the spice have hit my tongue, and my tongue is actually starting to get really hot. Now again, I've said before in multiple videos, I do not do spicy hot foods, so my tongue easily gets. The heat from it. Now, I... I don't... I don't like it as a biscuit and gravy. I like the flavor. I don't like it as a... a biscuits and gravy. It's way too peppery. Um... No sausage. No biscuit. Kind of got... Kind of get the cream in the background. But spices in your face. I don't know. My opinion. My opinion is my opinion. You like it or not, I don't care. So, um, kind of like the idea about Haley. So I was kind of, kind of a neat idea. But well, the problem with these chips is they never last. These chips flavors never last. They always get rid of them the following year. They like disappear. They stop making them. I don't even know why they do the contest because they don't have to keep a flavor. To randomly, they will bring back past winners or some bullshit, but they don't ever actually keep the flavors that win. Yeah, I'll give this and eh. <laughs> it's not horrible, but it's not good. It's and eh. and eh. so if a scale of one to ten, one failing and ten's passing, five. Kind of like the dead center. I'm not sure if I like it enough to give it a six, but I don't think I hate it enough to give it a four. But I'm gonna give it a five. And we're gonna leave it there. I'm giving it a five. It's, I know where they were going with it, but it's really hard. They pass biscuits and gravies on an artificial flavoring. You gotta and powder and stuff like that that they dried out to put on these chips. It's really hard to pass up. So I give you an A for effort, but not for me. So this is it. Southern biscuits and gravy. Go to your local grocery store, see if you can find them. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not good. It's not great. It's not horrible. I keep munching them so they're at least edible. So, I don't know. You may see something different. You may taste something different. You may actually like the flavor. That's why we all have different taste buds. Everybody's taste buds are different. Remember that. So, for me, this is a no-go. This is not the one I'll be voting on. Um, later on, do the truffle fries. And if I'm disappointed in the truffle fries, I'm going to the bite of Reuben and the gyro, which were the two that I instantly saw and went, meh, I don't care enough. So, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go relax, get some sleep. Look at my eyes. They're kind of heavy. But I'll see you all next time. Take it easy. Have a good one. Peace.